And yes, the story continues. Um, I'm very intrigued. There she is. Hi. How's it going? Hey, hey, it's my birthday. Whisking her away. <laughs> We're whisking her away. We're picking up copies oh, first. So uh, I'm sorry. We're out of sleeves. That's okay. Thank you. Thanks. You, right, you, you too. too. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. I'm back. Yeah, yes. From New York, and I just gotta say, uh, shout out to the 40,000 subscribers. We Woo! just, we just, yes! we just passed. But if True Love had her own YouTube channel. Oh. You know we would have she would have two million subscribers. Oh. Everyone in Central Park in New York said, oh. uh, Seth, we love you. But true love, <laughs> we really love. I love so you too. I love you too. Send her the love down in the comments. Oh. It's true love's birthday. So we're off to uh, a little getaway to yes. celebrate whisking and off. whisking her off. Best but, day uh, of the year. Best day of the year. <laughs> And then, yes, we'll talk about the Olympic trials qualifying later today. Uh, Seth had to fit all of his races around my birthday. Yeah, yeah. He's amazing. You know, this hey, is how we, for doing that. That's how we roll. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, anyway, huh? next year, New York City Marathon. Yeah, okay, we'll come. Run, run in Central Park. True Love's going to come and say hi to everyone. Yes. And uh, so we'll bring the boys and Yes, everything. that'll be perfect. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you next year. It was First epic. Sunday in November. First Sunday in November. Perfect. Boom. Put it Done. on the calendar. Put it on the calendar. Done. We'll be there. Boom. All right. See you. In the mountains. When we see you. Or when we see you. When we see you. <laughs> and in the mountains. <laughs>
one year ago. All right, I sent this out. I said, if you have a dream, make sure you are relentless in pursuing it. You know, relentless. What does that mean? Relentless in pursuing it. All right. Ugh. It's like persistence, patience, consistency, uh, sacrifice. That's kind of what I think of when I hear relentless. So if you have a dream, make sure you are relentless in pursuing it because it's going to be hard. That's what I tweeted about a year ago, according to Kyle. Thank you, Kyle, for bringing that to my attention. And oh, how relevant it is to this, this, uh, this dream and this pursuit of a two hour and 19 minute marathon or a one hour and four minute half marathon. That's right, we're gonna talk about that in one second. So I tried to qualify for the Olympic trials in the Cleveland Marathon in May of this year, 2019. Didn't even make it to the starting line healthy. That was the first attempt to go under the, the two hour 19 mark, ended up with a stress reaction in my left foot. Um, here I am uh, rehabbing in the pool, uh, just trying to be patient and stay positive. And we made it through together. And back then, you know, there was, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15,000 people subscribed to the channel. So a lot of people don't know that part of the story. So that was back in April and May when I was rehabbing from that injury. Because of that, I had to find another marathon. And I was thinking to myself, okay, what's the fastest, flattest sea level marathon I could find? Boom, Amsterdam, all right? Go to Amsterdam, my first marathon ever on the roads, ever. Go out chasing some pacemakers. You know the story there. And ended up with a 106.53 first half. Uh, went into uh, oxygen debt. Uh, built up too much lactic acid in my legs. Paid for it later at about mile 18. And kind of hobbled to the finish into the old Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam. Uh, trying to once again chase down that 219. Ended up with a 223. 37, you know the story there. Um, so then um, someone who will remain anonymous in the greater New York area uh, heard the story about my mom um, and not being able to race the New York City Marathon because of that accident. And she was able to get me in. And this was a once in a lifetime, I considered it a once in a lifetime opportunity because it's so difficult to get into really any big, big city marathon, but especially New York. Um, so I jumped on it. I just, and I have no regrets going to New York, meeting all of you in Central Park, and of course running the New York City Marathon. What? Oh my gosh, it's been a whirlwind. Two days ago in the five boroughs of New York City. Uh, run 224.01. And as I said yesterday, I think if my pacing plan of New York would have been applied to Amsterdam, I think I'd, be, I'd get really, really close to that 219 mark. I really do. I think it would have been, not the exact, but if I would, have, again, go out in 110, maybe 109.50 in Amsterdam, so three minutes slower than what we did go out in, I bet things turn out much, much better in Amsterdam. But water under the bridge, and now we move on to the question, will I chase down this Olympic trials qualifying time with... Uh, <laughs> December. Well, okay, no, let's say November, December, January, Jan you know, February. So the Olympic trials race is late February in Atlanta, Georgia. Time is of the essence. And there's really only two more options left, at least in the United States, to get this done. And um, yeah, let's just say it right now. I'm not giving up. You better believe it. You can probably hear it in my voice. There's no way. And that's what the tweet said. You gotta be relentless in pursuing it. Meaning, like I said, consistent, persistent, um, patient. Oh, there you go, patient. Um, I was, I was. It stung a little bit in Amsterdam. I'll be honest. Like, it, I was. I thought I would. Uh, I was gonna do it there. A lot of lessons learned today. Bit, patience, patience, patience. Therefore, the two other options is CIM, which I'll, I'll say what you. What what is that race? I'll explain in a minute. And Houston. Okay, so CIM, I don't feel like you don't know the running world because I didn't even know what CIM meant like three years ago. So CIM is the California International Marathon, which is held this year, oh man, on December 8th in less than a month. CIM in California, in Sacramento. And then really the last option is the Houston 
marathon or half marathon on January 19th of 2020. So we're looking at um, two months and some change. Okay, so let's call it let's call it 10 weeks, um, roughly 10 weeks until Houston. So here we go. I I don't want to race CIM. I need a break. <laughs> Okay. I'm doing, all right. So we're going to talk about that more later this week, but I'm going to race the world mountain running championships next week. And I need a break. I need a break. I just can sense it. I can feel it. Two marathons in two weeks. I need a break. So CIM, you're going to have to really convince me down in the comments that CIM is the one to do. Um, and that is going to be the question of the day here in one second. And then Houston, I'm in true. I'm that's, well, that's the last opportunity. So that's January 19th. Both races are sold out, CIM and Houston. So here you go. 106.53 through the halfway point in Amsterdam. Could I, now let's just round up to 107. Could I cut three minutes off of my Amsterdam half marathon time in a marathon race in Houston? Meaning, if I race the Houston marathon in January, that would be three marathons in basically three and a half months. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm not, I'm no dummy. I know that's a lot. You don't do that. It's, it's risky. I'm healthy right now. I'm grateful for that. You know, but October, November, December, January. Okay. So, you know, three and a half to four months, three marathons. So therefore, and this is what I'm going to lean into you. And this is, um, I'm not afraid. Like I'll listen to your thoughts. I'll listen to your opinions. At the end of the day, it's my gut decision, but we're a family. You're on this journey with me. Somebody commented the other day, or they, he, basically the gentleman said like, wow, the plot thickens, the draw, like the story continues. Uh, and so I appreciate your insight and I will read your comments. I'm not saying I'll be able to respond to them all, um, but at the end of the day, I'll make the decision. Therefore, um, what are your thoughts? And I know I don't usually ask this question, this type of question of the day. And thanks for your patience as I just kind of hash this out. But I'm out, you're you're on the journey. Question of the day: Should I race? Would you race? However you want to think about this, mull this over. Um, I'll just say CIM, Houston, and what distances? Okay, half, full. Now I get it. 104 for a half marathon is 452 a mile. What? And then the marathon, as you know, is 517, 518 a mile in order to qualify for the Olympic trials. That's a pretty big difference. Um, so that's the question of the day. Thank you for answering. I know I just kind of spilled a lot onto you, but I'm processing and mulling as I'm just sitting here with all of you. Uh, and I'm excited. And yes, the story continues. Um, I'm very intrigued about 104. I'm very intrigued. It's fast. I'm no, I, it, I know my training would have to change. I know I would have to do a lot more speed work. Um, I know that, but I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued to cut three minutes or, or run another marathon, pace it really well. I, I guarantee there would be a pack of, cause that's like the last chance I, I, would there be a pack of guys chasing 518 a mile? Uh, both are sold out. Thankfully, there's some connections out there to Houston um, that we're working on that. And I might, to, in order to sneak in, but there's no guarantee of that either. If you have a connection, let me know. Um, so I love you. That's that. Uh, thanks for giving True Love her love down in the comments on her birthday. I'm going to call it there. And um, yeah, you guys rock. So. Bada bing, bada boom. Bottom line, relentless. We're not giving up. All right, everyone, I guess I'll stop there. We will, uh, you know what, we'll, we'll throw it back on the right to another blog where I actually start talking about, I think six months ago, the Olympic trials process, and then um, give you some thoughts on the left uh, leading into the Cleveland Marathon, just to show you how long this journey has really been. You guys are the best. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.